Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 36. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Alright, so we are here for the Sedan Open. Uh, it is a very hot day in the UK, so apologies if you can hear the fan noise in the background. It's about 30, 32, 35 degrees, somewhere around there. It's going to be hot. Uh, we're starting off with Camino Via de Montserrat, Hockenheim Ring, Bernie's Alps, Maple Valley Raceway, and then Sunset Peninsula. Let's go. Hopefully it does mean fairly soon there will be an album from Pendulum. Because they make some absolute fucking bangers, mate. Make some good tunes. Come on, come on. Oh! Squeezing the legacy. I don't understand why logos and sites are oversimplified to the point that it's just a letter with a single color background. Because of the fact that it's easier to tell what an icon is on new phones because of the fact that they're designed to be these small little icons and to have everything on one home page. You look at iPhone, so when you looked at Android years ago, you used to be able to customize exactly what you wanted and put it wherever you want. And it is similar with Android today, but Android now has the apps browser, which has all the apps in one spot. And iPhone only lets you have one app icon. I'm not sure if they changed it with the widgets update, but iPhone for the past 10 years has only let you have one of each icon on the home screen and obviously you can then make folders where the icons are even smaller so because of that that that's one of the leading reasons why they made it because they're supposed to be easily recognizable on that scale I don't care I don't, I'd rather just have some logo design you know this basic design, though, it all started from, like, Windows 8 as well. Windows 8, they tried to popularize it. And I was like, mm, okay. Because Windows 8, they oversimplified absolutely every single icon. And, yeah, it looked good, but now it's like everything is going to that level. Like, I... Don't get me wrong, some app icons, yeah, it's still questionable. It's obviously a trend. Like, the whole industry's doing it, so you don't want to be the odd one out that has... doesn't have that. But at the same time... Oops. Like, even YouTube changed that icon to not have any texture or anything like that. It was just a plain, flat image. Whoa! Alright, not bad. It was a good first race. Except for the fact that my car is absolutely destroyed, but oh well. Honestly, when companies start turning around and going, right, we're gonna make our shit overly complicated. The day that they do that, it's going to be funny as fuck. Funny as fuck. Beep, beep, motherfucker, get out of the way! Or just park in the middle of the road. Ah, fuck me. Okay, let's see if I can actually get some of these positions because I'm a little bit far behind now. Push. Push the button and let me know.
Everyone yeah. starts going the same way, letter and background colour, owners of apps and sites will want to differentiate. Exactly. It's just it's just a trend at this point. That's all it is. The amount of people that jump onto trends is just bleh. I mean you look at Battle Royale. The amount of games that have tried to squeeze Battle Royale into it. Speaking of Battle Royale, let's do Nah I'm joking. <laughs> But uh, the amount of companies that have actually tried pushing Battle Royale into uh, their games is just nuts. I mean, you look, Call of Duty did it. Fortnite's obviously done it. Apex has done it. Obviously, Apex is built for Battle Royale along with Fortnite. But the amount of Battle Royale... Uh, Battle Royale is one of the game modes that I just don't understand. Because it is luck-based. They do it as skill-based matchmaking. And then on top of that, it's luck-based. They'll match you up with 100 people who have similar skill level to you. And then on top of that, then it's luck on what stuff you actually get. Where you get dropped, well, you get to choose where you drop, but it's luck based on where everyone then drops, and it's just confusing as fuck. Yeah, Horizon 4, I'm looking at you, bitch. I just came to say hello. Oh, that's such a good meme. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello there, Hans. How are you today? Just sat here drinking milkshake sneak. I really hope they bring those back as permanent flavours. Because I can guarantee you now, if they bring them back as permanent, I'll be getting like a tub of, I don't know, maybe the vanilla one. Maybe the raspberry. Raspberry's quite nice. Sounds quite nice. Is that the... Milkshake sneak. So they did a drop at the start of this month. It was on the 31st of August, so end of very end of last month. And it was just... They released milkshake flavours. I've got the top here. So this is... the tub. And it is just... It's caramel latte flavour. So this one is like a caramel milkshake thing. It's super yummy. Super yummy. Obviously, some people, they'll get, like, the blue raspberry. They'll stick it in a milkshake, and they'll have, like, a raspberry milkshake. Of just the normal flavors. Yeah, but it's mixed with milk. It's not mixed with water. So it doesn't have milk in it. It's just, like, caramel flavor, coffee flavor. Pretty much. It's not like UHT milk or anything like that. Yeah, 100%. They're not cheap. It probably costs about £2 each. But they're nice to have just every so often. There's like a little treat or something. I'd still buy them. 
and realistically speaking, because it's got a coffee taste in it as well, it's cheaper than coffee. I mean, you go to a barista and get an actual coffee for that caffeine hit and that flavor and whatnot, it'll cost you like five pound. Whereas that costs you two pound. Almost, it'll cost you pretty much about six pounds for four of them. It's not bad at all. Seven pound fifty. I can't do numbers. Way. Not bad. I'll take that result. Thank you very much. Society is screwed. Way. Yeah. The UK is one of the worst countries for inflation at the moment, unfortunately. Like, inflation's terrible everywhere. Everyone is struggling. But the UK is insane. And on top of that, our housing market is full of greedy cunts. There's no other way of describing them. They are just absolute greed monsters. Like, at the moment, I'm paying 600 a month to live here in a room. Whereas, if you look at other places, for example, in the UK, or, like, if you look at... What the fuck am I on about? My brain has just had a brain fart. What was it even going towards? I was trying to, like, navigate to a subject, and it just went... Bleh. Um... Yeah, so I pay 600 a month for a room. Apartments at the moment are about a grand, and my payslip is about 1,200. My average payslip is a grand. This month I got 12.50. So how the fuck, like, realistically speaking, right, this is an individual room. More than most of it. About three, there was a month, right, where I got paid 650 for that month. And in terms of money that went to rent, 600 of it went to rent. So I had to borrow money that entire month for then the month afterwards to only get like 1100 and then I paid that back the money that I borrowed so I was left with 800 the month after Yeah, it's so bad. On top of that, I mean, I'm in a little bit of a debate over rent at the moment. So, because uh, there are certain people that are trying to say that I owe more money than what I actually owe. So, uh, my, my rent is currently up in question. Yeah. It's a little fucked up. But 
I can't get a full-time job. Because... He, here's the issue. I could quit my job quite easily and go find another one that is full-time. But the issue is then I have to find a full-time... Which, full-time work is extremely difficult to find in the UK at the moment. There, there's so many part-time jobs. But the issue then is if I'm looking for a second part-time job, it's going to screw with the hours of the part-time job I already have. So obviously combining those two... Absolute mess anyways. So, trying to find a second job to boost up the income, not an option, right? It's so, so difficult at the moment, money-wise. And, like, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. Like, I'll just, I'll talk about it. I don't care. Like, you can call me broke all you want. I know I'm broke. Same as like 80% of the UK at the moment is broke. The issue is housing, right? It shouldn't cost any more than a quarter of your your pay slip. The fact that I can look and turn around and go, right, well, today, this entire day that I've worked, that's gone to put a house over my head and then the next day that's gone to put a house over my head i can work five days in a row and the sixth day i can go hmm, that's a, that's for food and then the other days it goes back to oh that's put a roof over my head that's put a roof over my head that's put a roof that's not how life should be and it's such a a messed up system and I know exactly why it, it's it's just greed from landlords like but the the issue is like I don't have understanding of the housing market but I know for a fact that it doesn't cost more than 40 grand a year to keep a house up and run it the issue is right a house will last for years, right? It's a long-term investment. But a lot of landlords are like, right, well, I'm going to spend 100 grand on this house that I found, or 120 grand on this house, and I want that 120 grand back within three years, or four years, or whatnot. That's exactly what the landlord of this property's done. There's no way in hell he has it. And you think about it, it, it's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah. It's insane the amount that people can charge for. I mean, um, America's just as bad with the healthcare scenario. The fact that for what is basic necessity, like, I don't expect, oh, house should be free, housing should be free and whatnot, because then there's no market. All houses will just be built like shit. You won't get actual quality houses corners will get cut and whatnot. The issue is the fact that a house should not cost as much as it does right now. There are people that bought their houses 20 years ago that are making substantial profit if they sell their house today and go into a cheaper property. Like, it's unbelievable. They could sell their house, rent a place, and they'd have about 200 grand left over. Something like that. To add to their retirement fund. 
just by selling and then going to rent. And especially if you're, like, towards the end of your life. Uh, there's no other way of putting it, really. But if you're all retirement and whatnot, you're going to be renting a house at that point. Because getting a different house. <laughs> Minted. Like, it's, it's so screwed up. So bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.